This is Alprilla Farm um, here in Essex, Mass. We are primarily a produce farm and we rotate our vegetables, which are our main cash income, um, with grain and hay. Uh, we've recently added cattle to our portfolio and plan to be selling beef in the next couple of years. Growing vegetables is, is very fertility intensive and even if we can still read the soil test and put down what it says to in bagged fertility, the health of our soil noticeably declines if it's continually tilled. Um, so it's forced us to sort of step back and dig a little bit deeper, so to speak, in um, how we build our crop rotation and how we can rely on biology instead of chemistry to make our crops grow. This is in a lot of ways a really traditional crop rotation where you have some areas that are tilled every year, some areas that are not tilled, and a given patch of soil is only used for vegetable cropping once every three years on average or so. The first year we'll plow, uh, plow down sod, whether it's clover or hay, um, in usually mid-May and plant a main season vegetable crop that feeds heavily on nitrogen. Um, and the next year we'll grow a lighter feeder that will be done by mid-September and we can plant it back to grain which we then plant clover into, or a hay crop. So after we harvest the wheat, the grass will suddenly have a lot more light and take over, and we'll harvest hay and pasture our cattle on this land for between one and three or four years before plowing it back down again and planting another crop like winter squash or corn or any number of other vegetables. In any kind of crop rotation, you're trying to serve multiple purposes. You're trying to save yourself money on your fertilizer bill. You're trying to manage your workload at various times of year. You're trying to balance crop health and you're trying to balance your soil health as well. Uh, the farmer really needs to spend a lot of time walking around, um, just kind of being in the field um, and looking at what's working well and what isn't. For instance, if a field has a lot of quack grass or Canada thistle in it, I may decide to crop it annually, grow vegetables in it for another several seasons and accept that I'm gonna need to put on more fertility um, during those seasons as a way to control that weed before returning it to a grain where that weed might grow out of control. During the crop rotation, rather than adopting a rigid formula and using it no matter what every year, flexibility and not being rigidly tied to any system is really important in developing any crop rotation. So it's this, you know, turn of the 20th century technology um, in our crop rotation. It's not particularly innovative, but not a lot of people who grow vegetables utilize this technique.